questions we got prepared for the meeting. Yeah. So we want to start with what's your worst idea? That's usually a good place to start, either yeah. with your new business or your new marketing strategy. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people try to, you know, come up with some, some of their best ideas, but, you know, we're trying to go do a 360 and get some of our worst ideas. Yeah, they try and use things like AI or other, you know, advanced techniques to come up with really good ideas. Skip that, go with the worst idea, and then think about how can we make the least amount of money with this idea. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in a world, the world we live in today, everyone's very, you know, materialistic. All they want is more, 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 more. Um, but nobody ever asks the question, what about less? So because less is more. Less is more. That's exactly right, you know. So then I guess that moves into how do we annoy the most potential customers with um, our worst idea to make the least amount of money? Yeah. Key word here, annoy. A lot of people like to say, how can we attract more potential customers? They're actually using the wrong A word. It's annoy, because uh, who wants more customers? You know, that's just a headache. And that directly ties into a question that we ask ourselves as KPOC, how do we help our clients to get fewer customers? Yeah, exactly. Less is more. Always, it's repeating elements, you know? Yeah. Um, the more customers you have or the more clients you have, that's just more of a headache. That's just more migraines. So. Less customers, less headaches, less migraines. I think a lot of people talk omni-channel, go no channel. No channel. They talk SEO, we're saying no CO, yeah. right? You tell a lot of people are on Google, that's a lot of potential customers. Yeah. Get off Google. Get off Google. Get yourself de -indexed. Get on Bing. That's, there's less clients, less customers yeah. there. Get, get Duck, duck, go, even better. Exactly. Um, so that <clears throat> brings us into maybe, how can we be less productive? That'll probably help us as well. Yeah. So. You know, guys, in the office, we try to be productive, but we're thinking of just switching that whole mentality around. Let's be less productive. So lunch breaks, we're thinking maybe four-hour lunch breaks, um, maybe even have a little beanbag room with video game console. We could have little video game tournaments, you know, because I'd rather play Super Mario Kart than, you know, do actual work. And always be thinking directly, how can that lower productivity annoy customers? Exactly. and help you make less money. Yeah. I think uh, you wouldn't be answering the phones then if you're playing Mario Kart. I exactly. Mean, have Keep, headphones on. Yeah, yeah. So it's very important to set up your voicemail. That way you don't leave, you know, you don't want to lose customers, but um, if you have your voicemail set up, that way you don't have to answer the phone. You know, they'll just send them straight to voicemail, they'll leave their information, you can get back to them whenever you want. Yeah, it's a fine line between decreasing and eliminating. Exactly. You just want to decrease. This is less, not yeah. Zero. Yeah, we're not crazy. I mean. Yeah, of course. So <clears throat> what, are, what are the effective marketing strategies we can use? We talked about using uh, no channel and no CO. No CO. Um, another good one is to just you know delete all of our social media accounts. Yeah. That's and AI, we mentioned that earlier on. Definitely don't use any sort of intelligence. Um, I probably wouldn't even have humans make the decisions. If you can get animals to help. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, just like, you know, they pick the World Cup winner, yeah. that, that octopus. Yeah. We could do something like that, maybe uh, bring a little bunny into the office. Talk to Tony Phil. Yeah. He, he figures out when winter's going to end. He could probably figure out, you know, where to get your customers. Exactly, yeah. Um, um, oh, we, we, we totally forgot about tarnishing your reputation. One of the most important questions. You know, actually, this is a very common question. Fortune 500 companies use this strategy to really kick off the they're trying to rebrand or something. Um, you know, tarnishing your reputation might seem like a negative, but in reality, what you're doing is you're making a statement. You know, you're making something seem dangerous, something seem exciting, and that's what people like. They like tarnishing reputations. And we've talked about Fire Festival before. Yeah. Um, you know, they did a good job of maybe some of that. Oh, they did a great job of tarnishing their reputation. But they might have done a little bit too good with their marketing strategy. They used things like influencers. Would we recommend influencers? No. Influencers cost too much, and they deliver almost too many results. What you're looking for is less, less results, less money. So really what you're trying to go up is after the below average influencer, which usually has you know around 100 followers, maybe less. Yeah, probably less. Less than that, yeah. Um, and you want to, you know, give them... And look for low engagement amongst the followers. Yeah. You can usually figure that out by looking at their followers, making sure they look like they're bots, or, yeah. you know, they, ha they don't engage with things. Or when they do, they use, like, thumbs up, you know, great posts, something like that. Yeah. And also, I forgot to mention, but when people comment and like on our posts, 
do not engage with them, okay? That's like the worst thing you can do if you're trying to have an effective marketing strategy, which we're not trying to do, so. Least effective. Least effective, exactly. <clears throat> um. And this one right here, how can we get fewer people to visit our website? It's a golden question. I think that ties them all together. Ties them all in. A good, a good way to start is make your URL really confusing. Mm -hmm. um, it could be k-o-p-o-k, mm -hmm. and then like marketing spelled backwards, mm -hmm. .com. Yeah, maybe use a dot. random top level domain, maybe .scam or .fraud. Yeah, yeah. .info or yeah. something weird. Mm -hmm. um, we already talked about making sure you get removed from Google search, all the search engines. Yeah. Because, you know, that's a good way for people to find your website. So. Yeah, I mean, everyone's obsessed with traffic, but really, less is more. That's the lesson of today. And really, that's marketing. Yeah, that's marketing. That's marketing. <laughs>